This is Into Math 3rd Grade, Lesson 3.1, Multiply with 2 and 4. The I can statement is I can use different strategies to multiply with the factors 2 and 4 and solve equal group problems. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 62. We will start under Build Understanding Question 1. As usual, we will read the question and highlight and circle the important information. There are two octopuses. That's important. An octopus has eight arms, so we'll underline that. How many arms do two octopuses have? So they're asking how many arms do the two octopuses have? And then they tell us to show equal groups. All right, so you can go ahead and pause this video if you'd like to try working on your own to show your equal groups and then come back or feel free just to follow along. Here we go. I would like to start by drawing two circles to demonstrate the two octopuses that they tell us have eight arms. Then I'm going to make these little dots here to represent those eight arms inside the circle. So there's one octopus with eight arms and then here's another octopus with eight arms. Okay, so now I can answer the questions below. Which addition equation can you write to show this problem? So what I'm seeing here is there are two groups of eight. So, and this, they're asking for an addition equation. So if you wanna pause, if you've been following along, go ahead and pause and give this a try and come back. Um, when you come back, we'll take a look that there are eight arms here and eight arms here. So the addition equation that we can write is eight plus eight equals 16. Now question B asks, what multiplication equation can you write to show this problem? So here we have two groups, one, two that are equal. So I'm going to put a two here and a multiplication. We use this symbol. We have two groups and in each group there are eight arms. So my multiplication problem is that there are two groups, equal groups of eight, and that's going to give me 16 as well. And so the final question, whether we use an addition or a multiplication says, how many arms do two octopuses have? And so we can answer that 16 and include the word arms to complete the answer to this question. A side note here is that they would like to review the word doubles, which you may have already learned that when you add two of the same number, to find the sum or the answer, doubles are pairs of add-ins, uh, which are really just another number added to another number that are the same. So in this example, you will notice that eight and eight are the same number, they're the same add-in, so they are considered doubles. So we may see more doubles as we keep working today. Please turn to page 63 under Step It Out question two. Paolo studies three monkeys. Each monkey eats two cups of fruit in a day. So this is in one day. And now it's asking how many cups of fruit do the three monkeys, the three monkeys eat in a day? And it also asks us to now use a number line to show the equal groups. So they have provided a number line right here. And we are going to start at zero. Um, if you would like to pause this video and try this on your own, you're free to do that and come back. Otherwise, you can follow along with me now. So one monkey is one monkey eats two cups of fruit each day. So one monkey eats one, two. That's one monkey. Another monkey eats one, two. And the third monkey eats one, two. So we land at six cups of fruit. You can see that there were one, two, three jumps representing those three monkeys, and they each ate two cups of fruit, which we were told right here. So the first question A says, how many groups are there? And we can say that there were three groups because there are three mon monkeys. 
And then how many objects are in each group? Well, one, two, one, two, one, two. There were two cups, and so there were two objects in each group. So we've drawn the jumps on the number line, and C wants us to explain our thinking now. What does the final number you land on represent? The six represents the number of cups of fruit the three monkeys eat in a day. Question D asks, what multiplication equation can you write to model the problem? And we can do that by saying that there were three monkeys and each monkey ate two cups of fruit. So we have three times two and we know the answer to that is six. And we've modeled that with our number line as well. And question E, how many cups of fruit do the monkeys eat in a day? And our answer would be six cups. Please turn to the next page, page 64, under Step It Out, question three. There are four starfish. This type of starfish has seven arms. So each starfish has seven arms, it's important to know. And they're asking how many arms are, on, are there on four starfish? So that's what we're trying to find out. And they give us a model here of the four starfish with each have seven arms. And then they have the answer blocked out with this gray square. The instructions then say use a twos fact and doubling to help. So the first part says to write a twos fact with a factor of seven. So this means the twos fact just means that it's going to be um, a multiplication problem that has a two, it's one of the twos, and they give us the other factor, which means it's a multiplication problem of seven. So they're saying write a two times seven, and then we can solve that two times seven is 14. So this is a twos fact with the factor of seven. And then it says, question B tells us to then double the product. And remember in multiplication, these are the factors, two and seven, and the product is the answer right here, 14. So we are going to double the product, and we were talking about double on the other page. So if you wanna pause and try this yourself and then come back, you're welcome to do that. So we are going to write 14 plus 14. We're doubling that product. And when we double that product, we find that that makes the answer of 28. Now it's asking us to write a multiplication equation to model the problem. And if you remember, they actually already wrote the multiplication equation up here for us to demonstrate that there were four starfish and each of the starfish had seven arms. So four times seven, we know equals 28. The last part of the problem asks, how many arms are there on four starfish? So this is the same question in, the, in question three, the final question, and we can answer confidently that there are 28 arms. Please remember you can always go back and rewatch this video as needed and pause at any time.